Hey everybody, it's Tony George, DocSports.com. Terrific Tuesday update here, free, big time, Big East college basketball play uh, coming your way. Free plays on a nice roll, another easy money winning winner for you last night. Uh, quickly, a doubleheader in college basketball tonight, passing in the NBA tonight, went one and two yesterday. I had the Lakers as part of a triple header. Never got off the bus against Boston, who looked like absolute dog poop the last basically two weeks. It's a team that had three road losses that got their butt handed to them. That is the NBA. We've talked about the volatility of the NBA, and with an 82-game schedule, teams do take a night off. Um, but nonetheless, um, passing today, Dallas taking on the Clippers tonight. Ought to be a great game to watch on television. I have no interest because the line is sharp as a tack. Um, in my opinion, there could be others that love the game. In my opinion, I'm going to take a pass. Big slate tomorrow in the NBA. College basketball, doubleheader, AAC action, Big 12 action night. NHL continues to roll along. Uh, one in the NHL last night, one in college basketball last night. And one thing about college basketball and even the NBA, the plays are out in the NBA, I believe, at 10 Pacific and at 8.30 a.m. Pacific in college basketball. Bet them right away because the lines are going to move. Okay, guy goes in and buys a play at 4 in the afternoon, for instance, and I put some uh, Joe Blow out at minus 3, and now they're up to 4.5. You know, you're losing value. Bet them early. When they're out, um, we're going to get to uh, get over to Docs. We'll give you a free 60 bucks. You know the drill. Uh, Scott Spryce and I are going to be doing some marquee matchups tomorrow for Thursday college basketball. Probably a preview of the NFL, which we're going to get to in a minute, of the Super Bowl. And uh, we'll be doing a big prop bet report next week in the NBA, NBA, giving you some free props. Our cards will be out on the 30th at DocSports.com. I plan on having 9 to 10 props, side, total, and teaser in the NFL. And let's talk about that Super Bowl game between my beloved Kansas City Chiefs and Mrs. George is beside herself because now Joe Montana has guaranteed a San Francisco win and Mrs. George is a diehard Chiefs fan. So we're there's a lot of uh, animosity around the house right now from her. And I'm having to feel the brunt of that. But we're going to have some fun. Let's take a look at this. Um, currently, Kansas City minus one. The total opened up. Uh, it was in the 52, 52 and a half range. It's up to 54 across the board. And at MGM Mirage and Stations Casino, it is up to 54 and a half. So what I'm saying to you, if you are an over lover in this game, and you are sitting around waiting uh, till Saturday or Sunday of the game to bet. Um, you might want to get on it now because I'm gonna. You could easily see this total of 56 by game time. So if you like the over, you don't want to get on it now. If you like the under, wait. Okay, Kansas City staying steady at one. I wouldn't be a bit surprised see some money come back later. Um, especially with West Coast bias out here in Vegas, where you're probably going to see that about a pick em. Um, Maybe it, just a couple guys, you know, taking a piss over a fence post here, drinking a beer. Um, if you like Kansas City, you might want to wait. If you like San Francisco, you might want to take them now. Just a little, uh, just a little fodder for uh, the uh, NFL. Get over to Docs, get yourself a doubleheader last night, tonight, in college basketball. Seven-unit card, by the way. Uh, solid play. Um, I've got a play in the Texas Tech and uh, TCU game in the Big 12 matchup, so be sure and check that out. It should be on television tonight. Uh, good ball game. Check it out. I got the winning side. Let's go ahead and get to what's important, and that is your free play winner. That's why you're all here. Um, tonight, a big one, Butler taking on Nova, and this is a classic example, in my opinion. Um, and you got Butler catching three and a half. They're plus 145 on the money line. Um, you're catching one of the best teams in the country here off back-to-back -back losses as an underdog. And what has everybody seen last? Well, Butler losing to Seton Hall. They blew a 10-point lead. They had a lead with three minutes left. They blew the game. And then they played a very, very good DePaul team after that. 
uh, kind of in a letdown spot back on their heels and did not play well there. They lost back-to-back. Barron won. Butler is 8-1 against top 100 teams, and the only loss was a one-point loss to Baylor, who was one of the better teams in the country and who went into Kansas at Fog Allen and beat them by double digits. And that was a one-point loss to Baylor here. And bear in mind also that Butler is one of the best perimeter defending teams in college basketball. They allow 27% from beyond the three-point lane. And guess what? Nova lives and dies on the three. Yes. I would say Butler plus a three and a half. And maybe, maybe you sprinkle a little bit of love on the money line plus 145 because that's what I did. Catch me over at DocSports.com. Tons of free information. There's going to be all kinds of free info, takes, angles, and even picks on props for Super Bowl. Okay? Get informed. It's all free. Mashup scores, videos, 11 great handicappers beside myself. Check it out right over there at Docs.